In 2011, the IOM then issued another report on vaccine safety, and this time it looked at 158 of the most commonly claimed serious injuries uh, after vaccination, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, the title of that report is Adverse Effects of Vaccines, Evidence of Causality. Did you provide information to the IOM committee conducting this review? <laughs> Uh, I don't recall specifically whether I did or not. A lot of people ask for my opinions, and if, when asked, I give my opinions. See a section entitled Reviewers? Oh, yes. I'm on the list. The purpose of this independent review is to provide candid and critical comments that will assist the institutions in making its published report as sound as possible and to ensure that the report meets institutional standards for objectivity, evidence, and responsiveness to the study charge. It doesn't disclose that at that time you were working for all four of the major vaccine makers, correct? In 2011, were you receiving compensation or remuneration from Sanofi? I was, yes, as I've said before. I. Um, was consulting for uh, Sanofi as well as others. Were you consulting for Merck? Yes, probably and, at that and, time, yes. And GSK? Yes. And, and as well as a whole host of other for-profit companies seeking to develop vaccines, correct? Yes. I'm just saying that's not mentioned here, correct? No. Okay. Tdap is one of the vaccines on the childhood schedule, right? Yes. It's administered to babies during the first year of life? Yes. Uh, we already talked about this at two, four, and six months, right? Yes. Now, as for Tdap, that's given to pregnant women, correct? Yes. What was the IOM's conclusion in 2011 about whether these vaccines can cause autism? Uh, I'd have to look that up, but um, I, I feel confident that they do not cause autism. You feel confident that that's what the IOM concluded? Uh, I don't remember what the IOM concluded, but uh, I don't believe there's any evidence that that's the case. Can you read the causality conclusion with regard to whether DTAP and TDAP cause autism? The evidence is inadequate to accept or reject a causal relationship between diphtheria toxoid, tetanus toxoid, or acellular pertussis containing vaccine and autism. The evidence doesn't exist to show whether DTAP or TDAP do or do not cause autism, correct? Yes. Evidence not being available yes. does not uh, allow you to conclude that the phenomena, uh, that there is a causal relationship. But it does allow you to conclude that the evidence doesn't exist to say that DTAP and TDAP do not cause autism. There is not evidence to uh, say a million different things. We have no suspicions, at least I don't, uh, that uh, autism is caused by DTAP. You may not have that suspicion, but it is one of the most commonly reported adverse events, which is why it was reviewed in this IOM report. Can you make the statement that vaccines do not cause autism if you don't know whether DTAP or TDAP cause autism? I can say as a physician that, no, they do not cause autism. You know, I can't be sure that DTAP doesn't cause leprosy. That doesn't mean that that stops me from using a DTAP vaccine. Are, are people claiming that DTAP has caused leprosy? Uh, I, are you aware I, of any such complaints? I'm not aware of any such complaints, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it on the web one of these days. Okay, but people have made enough complaints about DTAP, TDAP causing autism that the Institute of Medicine at the commission of HHS thought it was serious enough to do a scientific review, correct? Yes. I mean, there are a million things on the, on the web, including all kinds of of uh, diet advice based on, uh, on r uh, ridiculous information. Uh, so why, why should I uh, uh, adopt that? Are you saying that the IOM was engaging in a ridiculous uh, review here? The only thing I've asked you is whether or not one can assert 
that vaccines do not cause autism. Counselor, not that they do. Let's be let's be real. You're asking me these questions because you want me to legitimize a view that vaccines cause autism, and I will not do that because absence of evidence is no proof whatsoever. You're okay with telling the parent that DTAP, Tdap does not cause autism, even though the science isn't there yet to support that claim? Absolutely. I, okay. I'm also willing to tell them it doesn't cause leprosy.